Hello there and welcome to the verdict here on the club's official YouTube channel. You join us just after Blues have registered their first home win in the Championship this season and what a win it was. They've beaten Sheffield Wednesday by four goals to one. Jesse Lingard was a name that most Blues fans perhaps didn't know before the match today but they certainly know him now. All four goals including a 13 minute hat-trick. Camille Zayat got a goal back for Sheffield Wednesday, but it wasn't enough, and Blues cruise to a much-needed victory. Alongside Chris, uh, Keith Lorenz, sorry, in the commentary box, was Michael Johnson, and what a performance by a man that certainly made his name at St Andrews this afternoon. Oh, it was a, it was a stunning performance, you know. You, and you rightly said the hat trick within, inside 13 minutes was spectacular, but it wasn't just his play on the ball and, and scoring goals. His work rate, his, his little deft touches, bringing people into the game. I thought it was fantastic and the finishes as well, composure beyond his years, weren't they? And for Absolutely. a man that, that apparently was ill before the game too. Yeah, I'd like to see him when he's fully fit. Um, but you're right, you know, some of the goals, you know, were breathtaking, but even the ones which were just tappings, you know, the first goal there, he's gambled, he's kept moving, you know, and he's thinking the worst might happen, the goalkeeper might spill it, and the goalkeeper did spill it, and he's there to tap it in. I thought all four of his goals were fantastic, not just the spectacular ones, but like you rightly so, for somebody so young to show that awareness and cuteness, I think we've got a special player here. And he's just at the right time. It's just what Blues needed, wasn't it, after a yeah. difficult couple of weeks? Yeah, we needed somebody to just light the torch fire for us. You know, we needed, a, you know, something to, you know, to 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 start the season off for us. The fans were waiting. You could see certain games; it was dead, it was quiet. The players were waiting for a lift, and I'm sure the management were waiting for a lift. And he gave everybody a massive lift today. Now we're all going into the the next game against Swansea, all in a bit more of a buoyant mood. Not saying we're going to win the game, but what we are saying is that we are now actually feeling and and looking forward for the, that next game. He'll hog the headlines, but it was a real team performance too, wasn't it? Every man did a job. Yeah, I thought the team was terrific today. And I, and I know, you know, Sheffield Windsor didn't have one of their better games, but, you know, take nothing away from the team performance, from the back line, who I know will be disappointing in conceding the goal. But, you know, you had some really good breathtaking from, I thought, Robbo, again, was instrumental. You know, Carmed in, in, in the defence. I just thought today was a day when we got everything right. And credit to Lee Clark as well, because he's come for some stick, obviously, with the team formation and, you know, selection. And I thought today, you know, it showed that, you know, once the boys do get it in the mind and do go for it, they can play. David Murphy hadn't played in nearly a year. He's had yeah. a real torrid time with injuries, but the manager thought he might just give him 60 minutes as long as he could do. And he did the full 90 and yeah. a very impressive performance as well. Yeah, you know, you, just, you saw late in the game, Murphy, two crossfield balls. You know, if David Beckham had hit them, you know, people would be talking about them for, for weeks. I thought it was tremendous. And, you know, there were signs where he was still ring rusty. You know, one point he went for a run down the, the far side there trying to get back after the striker. And in another couple of weeks, he'll get back in and it just shows he's off the pace. But for somebody to come back and play like that after, you know, 60 minutes in 10 months, is it? Shows, you know, obviously the quality of the man he is. Lee Clark's made no secret of his desire to improve performances at home and now at last something to build on. And that's right, you know, you know, you know let's not get carried away. It's a great 90 minutes, it's three points. Now the proof will be in the pudding is can we build on that now? Can we go two games, three games unbeaten at home? You know, and let's start to you know, climb this table because I believe we're in a false position with the players that we've got here. And a quick word on your old club, Sheffield Wednesday. Had yep. a difficult afternoon tonight, but they're going to be, you know, trying to get bounced back very quickly from that. Yeah, it's a difficult one. You know, that was a, you know, a, a real drubbing that day. Take a, a, a fellow strugglers. You know, let's. You know, we've been down there ourselves, and I think only goal difference is separating us. So for Sheffield to get beaten and get beaten handsome like that, you know, it'll be worrying not only for the players but for David Jones going forward. Where does he go to now? Because I didn't really see anything other than a substitution in Jermaine Johnson what came on which could obviously they might be able to hang something on so it's going to be difficult times for Sheffield. Yeah, Three Johnsons on the pitch at one point, a Johnson <laughs> in the commentary box, two too many. Yeah one too many but there's only real Johnson, one Johnson around here isn't that right? <laughs> Certainly so and Jono will be back as well on Wednesday night when Blues take on Swansea City in the Capital One Cup. Join us again.